Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be showing you how to build a cumulative line chart as you see on the screen now. Obviously what it does is it tells us what the total is right at the very end here in December in this, uh, this purpose and we can see how that total was achieved over a period of time as the, the total numbers of levers are cum cumulatively added uh, over that duration of time. So cumulate, cumulative is often used when we're talking about maybe levers or attrition. Uh, that might be a familiar term for many of you. So we'll stick with that sort of term for going this and hopefully you'll find this video very useful for that purpose. So as soon as you're ready, we're gonna jump straight in with the video and show you how this is achieved. So we've got our data table here and we can see that over the course of months, so we've got January through to December, and we can see the number of levers, uh, we're gonna stick with the term levers, just be easy here, the number of levers we have per month. So obviously we want to show that in the cumulative number rather than just these numbers over months. So if I was just to put a uh, basic line chart in, so go insert, and then we'll go into charts, let's do a basic line chart. We can see that it's going to be a bit all over the place because it's just going to show each number by month. So it's great to show you number of levers by months, but we want to show that cumulative um, view. So we can see, obviously, starting from the number that left in January all through to December, what the total were as a growing number over those period of months. So in order to do that, obviously, we're missing a piece of information. We need a calculation or another column uh, that will give us this uh, cumulative number. And to do that, we're going to be using uh, the sum formula, but we're going to be using uh, a restricted, well, not really restricted, but we're going to be locking that range so it, we have control over the number it's adding. And to explain that, the best way to probably do it is to just jump in and talk you through as I'm doing it. So we'll put a new column header here, and we'll call this uh, cumulative. And then what we need to do here is then put in our formula. So what we're going to do is use the sum formula, so equals sum, open brackets. And then what we're going to do is we'll, the first the starting point of our sum range is always going to be at C5. So what we want to do is we want to lock the, the range of C or the cell reference C5, do that with our um, dollar symbols. We're then going to do our colon, um, because obviously this is then going to now ask us to put in the, uh, the last uh, uh, cell reference in our range and that for this first part is going to be also C5. Then we can close brackets here. So as you can see when you do a sum on when you only got one cell reference it's only going to sum the values in here. The reason that we've um, locked the first uh, the starting point and not the last is because when I then drag this formula down you can see that our sum range has now grown, so it's still fixed, so it's always going to start with C5, but now in this next row for February, it's now going to do the sum of C5 through to C6. So we can see that the two of those adds together gives us our total of 24. If I'm to pull it down one more again, you can see now our sum range has increased even further, so it's now going from row 5 to row 7, giving us the total of 34. So I'm just going to pull that all the way down to the December, December field, and then all of these little error messages we've got here, we can just highlight um, where they are and we'll just go uh, ignore error, just because if not it gets a bit annoying on the page. So what happens when we now use that? Well, at the moment our series is simply just using um, the result range we have here. What we can do is if we just extend this now uh, to go over to our cum cumulative one, you can now see the difference we've got. So we've got the same starting point here for January, but our first series, the result, is just obviously showing us by month. And this cumulative one is now this orange line showing us how that grows over time. All we need to do is we can just simply select our first one, the result series, push delete, and you can see it then disappears from view. And now what the benefit of having this chart is, is it allows us just to see predominantly how growth has been over the course of time. So obviously, we're going to see know what the last date here, or not date, the number is here. So for December, uh, we know that we've had a total number of levers of 114. And what we could do here, what's always helpful, is just to uh, let me talk through that. So as we know, if you select the line, obviously you have all the data points, so you could do your data labels. If you just select the one individual point again, and then obviously it will only select that point, to which we can now go into here and do uh, add data label. And we've got our 114. So we can see that our 114 is our total number of levers, and we can see that how that moved over time. This is quite a steady line chart, uh, line graph going up. But let's say we have a play of the numbers, and let's say that in March uh, we significantly increase this. Let's say we put 50 in here. 
like that. Then what this line chart then becomes really beneficial for showing <laughs> is that we can see we've now got a change total, so we're at 154, and very quickly we're able to visually see that March was the month that we had a real sudden uptick in the number of levers. So this is a great way to be able to understand and look, see our data over time. And to tidy that up, as we did in our previous video when we were looking at charts, all we're going to do is simply just change the text to white in that column, in column D. Oh, and we've got a bit of a formatting issue there. Oh, no, it's gone away now. So even though when we select our chart, you can still see it. But what we can do is if we just pull our chart down to here, and let's just scroll down ever so slightly, scroll up a bit, go like that. And you can see we've now got our cumulative chart. So this all obviously this is a quite a quick uh, quick solution to just getting this chart in there. You might want to play around, and make the formatting a bit better, just so it obviously looks a bit nicer on the eye. Depending on the presentation you're going to use it on. But there you go. That's how we achieved our line chart. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and it does really help out the channel. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification. Then you'll be notified of all of our new videos as they're coming out. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video.